Hello, my name is Dev and welcome to my channel. I'm a long haul truck driver in North America. I left you in the last video as I was just getting to my delivery out in Wisconsin. So I've made that delivery. I went about 45 minutes down the road where I switched trailers. I've now got the loaded trailer on and I'm on my way back to Winnipeg. So let's get it done. as I said, I'm on my way back to Winnipeg with this load. I may be able to make it home tomorrow night. I should be able to, but it's going to depend on the weather. We're already getting some flakes of snow and some sleet here tonight. And there is a winter storm moving in. According to the weather, it's not moving in until tomorrow night. So, Hopefully I'm going to miss that, but we'll have to see what the weather does. So, I've made myself available to leave again on Monday, which will be the 3rd of April. So either way we'll get some time at home, even if we get home Saturday morning. In the last video, I, I was in um, River Country River Country Truck Stop or Travel Plaza in the in the last video, and I got fuel. Well, I'm hoping to make it back to there tonight. Stay there overnight. Got about two hours to get back there, and I've got two hours twenty nine minutes driving left. So it's going to be about half seven by the time I park up tonight. With my late start on the way down here, my late start on Wednesday, is, so I've pushed it back a little bit all week. You know, I've been pushing on trying to get full days in and it just makes you finish late and start late again the next day because of that. But if we're packed up for half seven, that's not bad. We'll be starting till six in the morning anyway. And that would hopefully get us up into Winnipeg for maybe about 4 o'clock. So that's the plans drivers. Drivers, viewers, you're not all drivers, sorry. That's the plan guys. And we will be back later with an update. It's Friday the 31st of March. And I'm just about to leave Wisconsin and get into Minnesota. It's five past seven in the morning, just coming daylight here. So I hope you can see okay. That's me got a bypass at the scale there in Minnesota. <laughs> um, yeah, so we're about, oh, we're 17 kilometers from going round the ring road round Minneapolis on the 694 and 494 so I'm going to leave uh, leave the camera running going round Minneapolis if you've been watching all my videos you'll have seen it before but I'll leave it running and make a time lapse out of this one I'm going round starting on the east side going round the north side of Minneapolis St. Paul and then picking up I-94 on the other side again. This is us crossing, um, I believe it's Hudson River. This marks, a, this marks a state line between Minnesota and Wisconsin up here in the north. 
next channel all melted there. About three degrees this morning, so just above freezing. Not a lot of rain, a lot of rain overnight. So those lights that are flashing there, that's, that's they tell us the scale's open and all trucks must enter. But I've already been given the bypass on our, um, uh, I don't know, our drive-wise, this system's called. So you see these trucks up ahead, uh, moving over to the right lane to go into the scale. And they have you drive over the scale, if you think anything's wrong, they'll pull you in for an inspection. But these guys are all going into the scale there. Someone here on the shoulder, I suspect he's actually missed that sign. I don't know, he could have broken down, but wouldn't be surprised if he's missed this, the slip road there for the scale. And now he's wondering what he should do. That's a scale on the right there. I'll make it home tonight as long as I don't get held up too long coming around Minneapolis here. At this time of the morning, I, I don't know, I've got about half an hour to spare, so as long as I don't get held up for more than half an hour, I, I should be okay. So fingers crossed. Once we get to the the uh, Minneapolis loop there, I'll get the camera back on and we'll do a bit of a time lapse. Be back later, guys.
take a ride I'm a one man show Get your love on the line Get your love on the line Ticket on a one-way train Goes downtown, but don't you know Get a seat, cause I'm ready to go Get your love on the line Get your love on the line As you've just seen, we didn't have any trouble getting through Minneapolis, St. Paul earlier on. I'm actually trying to head, stay ahead of our winter storm that they've got coming in. Around the Fargo area, down into Minnesota and, and halfway across Wisconsin. Uh, there was a winter storm during this afternoon. We're saying between 5 and 8 inches of snow in some places. So I usually fill up in Fargo and my plan today was to fill up, take me a half hour break uh, and that would be enough that I can get home from there. But I've decided the storm was going to just skip through, just the edge of it passed through Fargo. But I decided instead of hanging about there wasting time, I'm going to come up to Grand Forks, North Dakota and I'm going to get me fuel and take a break up there. It's only just over an hour further north, but they're not actually forecasting any snow up here. As you can see, we've got nice clear blue skies here. What we have got is some damp roads though at minus two Celsius. So just keeping an eye out for, for ice, black ice in particular. Uh, we've got some spray coming off all the vehicles, off my tyres, so the roads are just damp right now, but especially bridge decks and underneath bridges and stuff like that ice up very quickly. So trying to stay ahead of the storm, I'm hoping to be up in Winnipeg for about 4.30 today. Oh, and then uh, we can get home from there, just dropping the trailer in, in our yard and see if they've got one to go back to Steinbach. So about 45 minutes from Grand Forks. And we'll, we'll get a fuel and have something to eat there. Right, so we'll be back later guys. We've crossed the border now and we're just on the outskirts of Winnipeg here. We're coming into St Norbert on Highway 75 in Manitoba and St Norbert is right on the outskirts of Winnipeg and right before you get onto the perimeter to go around Winnipeg. Is I don't know if, they've, if they'd even call it a suburb of Winnipeg now, it's been swallowed up by the city practically. So I was on the way up here and realised that I'd never really shown you the, the perimeter. I guess, I guess you could call it the equivalent of the M25 in London, but you know, obviously nowhere near as busy. But this is the main, or not this, it will be in a, a second, the main road, the perimeter is the main road all the way round to the ring road around Winnipeg. But unlike the M25 it still has traffic lights and everything on it. So we'll do a time lapse. Uh, we, go, we go round only about a quarter of it. We're right on the south side here just now. 
and we come off on the west side to head back into the city to get to our yard in Winnipeg there. So we'll, we'll, as I say, we'll do a time lapse and uh, let you see the short stretch around that, that I'm going to be on. That's it just up ahead there, you can see the flyover, or I hope you can see the flyover, if not you'll see it in a minute. But that's, uh, that's the perimeter up there that we're just going to get onto. That's the slip road for going the other way there. We'll be out on the east side after on the way home, but not going to the yard. Only going home from the yard, not going to it after crossing the border. Right, so I'll get some of this filmed and I'll make a time lapse out of it for you guys. back to the yard to drop this, get my stuff out of the truck and go home. Planning on staying home till Monday this week. Have a couple of days at home the weekend. Really windy. Looking at the flags there in the in the centre we've got a, a strong north wind blowing there. 
temperature gauge on my dash is actually reading 4 degrees today and if you have a look around there's lots of snow disappeared even from where, even from last week when I left well earlier this week when I left So I started disappearing, it's been here since uh, I'm around December, so it's about time the snow started to go. Had enough of it now. I missed the storm today down in Minnesota and North Dakota. So that's it for this one guys, that's another trip over with, thanks once again for joining me on the trip, it's been a pleasure having you along and as always, take care, stay safe and join me on the next one, cheerio for now, thanks guys.